And now the first baseman. Now bad. Laid off man is the on. You got to be looking for the bunt oh, wow. here. Trying to get him into scoring oh, position. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. On the ground. Oh, great stop. Flips it from the ground. That's one. Relay to first. Double play. White Sox down to their final out. So up next for Chicago, Brett Phillips. And that one fouled off. A one-run lead here in the third and final game of the series. Hammer down the line. Should be extra bases. Now he launches a throw over his head. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Dominic Fletcher. Swing, and that ball smashed down the line. That's down, one hops off the wall. The run comes in to score from second, that ties it up at six. Huge moment for him and his team, Boog. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing off with the win if they can push across another run. Rafael Ortega stands in. Grounds one to the right side. Farmer tosses the first. That's the third out. And we're headed to extras. So they can't come up with the winning run. And that means we'll have to go a little longer here tonight to find a winner. And we're all even at six apiece. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're in extras here. Now batting Max Kepler. pitch well it's kind of deflating you blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth so here's a new opportunity hit the reset button try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one hey. a big swing and a miss I think he was sitting off speed though. in the air left field down the line and it falls here's the throw to the plate it's off the mark and he scores well, they didn't waste any time as they not call the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. To third might be two. Quickly to second for one, and that's two. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. So up next for Minnesota, Christian Encarnacion hey. Strand. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. One run across in the frame so far hey. here in extra innings. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one, two, three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're down to the show. Back at guaranteed rate field. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Duran back to work. Swung on, belted. Rodriguez going back. Bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge spot. That wall, yeah, yeah. it can very That's easily jar the ball loose oh. when you bang into it. So that yeah. could have been a really different outcome. And now the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Margot sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. The relay to the plate, and he's safe. 
tie ball game. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Josh Stama takes over on the mound and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Here's Mike Moustakis to him. That one hooked foul. Hard ground ball base now. And the winning run is aboard. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Two outs. Bounce to the left side. They get the force, and we're headed to the 11th. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off, Royce Lewis. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Jesse Chavez. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. hitter has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses, struck him out. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, and let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. In there at the knees. All ones the count. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. And I'll tell you, this home crowd will fire up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. On the ground, right side, Chapelli. In plenty of time to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Twins wind up stranding one, still tied, 7-7. All set for the bottom of the 11th. And now, Lloyd L. Ciappelli. The right-hander back to work. And fouled off. And the right-hander deals. That one is absolutely belted. And it's into the gap. Coming around third is Stallings. In comes the winning run. And the White Sox walk it off for the 11. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. And a final, 8-7. to seven. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.